TV. It's got a music. M. Rack. Y'all wanna stunt and floss on Front Street? The whole a tear through your gut, spill out your lunch meat. You the main vic, they booking for drugs. Niggas starving out here, and you looking like grub. That new M. Rack, catch a lick single, aka Money Dance, that's killing the airwaves on Shade 4 or 5 and many different other stations in Connecticut, Boston, so forth and so on. You can get it now, the links is in the video description. It's available on Google Play, Deezer, uh, YouTube Music, Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, etc., etc. Go get that. One. Slug you, the streets don't love you. Not at all. By now, homie, you should've knew that. Word. Ain't no Nino Browns in this town. You a new Jack. No my block, actually, well, even though I lived down the hill, I hung out up the hill between uh, my crew was uh, between 145th on Amsterdam Broadway, uh -huh. um, which the 30th Precinct eventually, I found out, started, named us. They had a nickname wow. for us. They call us the Fox Unit. Damn. Because of 145. I guess mm. the 5, they started calling us the Fox Unit. Gotcha. So, um... One thing I learned in life, and I learned this from watching my brothers from mm -hmm. their mistakes, I learned that it wasn't what you do, it's how you do it. Mm -hmm. You understand? I did all the dirt, mm -hmm. but it it wasn't what you do, it's how you do it. Like mm -hmm. like my boys, like we would do jokes and, and then they would buy a pound of weed, we buy a bunch of dirt bikes, buy like six hoopties. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Run through the money and then back doing it again. They are, uh, me for instance, I do. I did a jokes, mm -hmm. and I went and bought studio equipment. Mm. You see, what I'm saying smart man. Salute. Yeah, yeah. So I went and bought studio equipment because I was rhyming. So I'm like, yo, and I, I believe I could do beats because the About way the way that I write in my head, mm -hmm. I write to a beat in my head. Mm. But when I try to bring the beat out, it doesn't come out how I thought it should. Got you. So what I did was I said to Wayne, which is A Z brother, I, I say, yo, yo, bug, you want to do beats? He's mm -hmm. like, yeah. I said, I right, come upstairs, get the equipment, and keep it in your house. Mm. And that's how Bugs started doing beats. Wow. Yeah. So Bugs is Wayne. Bugs is Wayne. Okay. Bugs Bonds. Got you. Got you. All right. Now, <clears throat> you get the call from A Z. He give you the number to Mel, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, from that point, how long did it take for you to become? a member of American Cream Team and Raekwon is like, I want to say, the head honcho of that, in a sense. Okay. Yeah, give me that so time it was, frame. So it was a thinning of the herd. Okay. Because like I said, it was it was eight members mm -hmm. originally in Harlem Hoods. Mm -hmm. So me, uh, people that really know me, mm -hmm. I, I tend to get along with everybody. Mm -hmm. So... You know, when you're dealing with a group of people, you're dealing with different egos and, and different personalities. Facts. So me, I'm in the middle. So, mm -hmm. for instance, uh, Reggie and Banky didn't get along, which is Chip Banks, mm. right? So, whenever I'm with Reggie, Banks looking at me like this. Whenever I'm with Banks, Reggie looking at me like wow. this. So, Banky was my man. The way I met Banks was uh, Bug, which is uh, Wayne. Um, yeah. Wayne. Mm -hmm. He knocked on my door one day, because my room was the first room, so I heard a knock on my wall. Mm -hmm. So when I went to the door and I opened the door, I seen it was Bug, he had somebody with him. Mm -hmm. So Bug was like, yo, um, yo, dad, um, let him hold that thing, B. So I'm like, Bug, I'm not, I, don't, I don't lend my thing out, bro. Mm -hmm. You never get it back when you do. You already know that. You see what I'm saying? Facts. So, you know, he convinced me to let him hold the mm -hmm. thing or whatever. So, I don't know. He must have had some problems or something. So, when they bought it back, I didn't want it. Mm. I'm like, yo, mm. keep that, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't want that shit. Yeah. So, uh, that made Chip take a liking to me. You understand? Mm. And from that point on, we, we used to be in Bug House, um, you know, listening to beats and doing songs and mm. all that. So, he took mm -hmm. a liking to me. Mm. So, around the time that I started messing with Ray and them, mm -hmm. remember, he wasn't initially a part of Harlem Hoods. You see, it was the, it was the, my other people. Gotcha. So, uh, Chip, anybody who know him, he's a beast. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, one thing I learned about Chip, mm -hmm. that if he senses weakness, 
he's gonna feed off of that. Mm. You can't be weak around Banks. You see what I'm saying? He's like a wolf. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a wolf. He's from the East Side. You know, mm -hmm. East Side dudes was different. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I remember back in the days, you could always tell an East Side dude. You said, mm -hmm. I'm meaning the East Side of Harlem. Mm -hmm. So, um, Chip was, uh, you know, so what it did was it caused tension within everyone. And one day we had a meeting at, at uh, Reg House. And they called me up to the meeting and they was like, um, now this was when we was in, in the process of... Uh, of you know doing the paperwork and, mm. and all that kind of stuff and the interest was there okay the woo van pulling up to my building often mm. so everybody knew what was happening mm. so this was uh around the time so what year is this about just give him a time frame. Oh, right oh, yeah excuse we, my land yeah yeah but you know you said we was going through the timeline so okay so i probably would say 99 99 yeah okay. because I, I i think what album was out from the wall so people can know that you was like yo damn we definitely gotta come with some heat this joint just dropped i i don't know uh wreck i i i i'll be lying if i told you i okay. remember exactly which albums but were you out, said but Red I, I knew was out already they were at Ghost the pinnacle out. of their career okay yeah, yeah. I, I knew that much yeah. did meth drop already all of them dropped. okay all of them okay. dropped. I think Woo, Woo Forever was, was out or something. Oh, okay. The second album Yeah, yeah. Was Whatever out, yeah. album was out around 99, 2000. Yeah, I think it was the second because album. Because Ray was working yeah. on his sophomore album. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, exactly. So, okay. So, we got yeah. it. 99, 2000. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, um, we had the meeting. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yo, um, because Banks was my man. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I brought mm -hmm. Banks around the situation. Mm -hmm. So they was like, yo, dad, you know what I'm saying? Yo, uh, we don't think we're going to uh, uh, go forward with this because, you know, because Banks, this, this, that, 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 and this. I don't remember the exact mm -hmm. conversation, but what I got from it was they were asking me to make a choice at that point. Mm -hmm. And this is the Wu-Tang Cats. No, this was my Harlem Hood cast. Oh, your Harlem Hood yeah, cast. Yeah, yeah. We had a meeting okay. because I got Banks is over here mm -hmm. and the Harlem Hoods is over here. Mm. I bought Banks. Gotcha. Know? So, so uh, they we had a meeting mm. and, and they was like, yo, dad, um, we don't know if we're going forward at this point. Um, basically, what you going to do? Mm -hmm. So what I said to them was I made a compromise. I said, yo, I understand we all came in this thing together because everybody looked for me for leadership. Mm. I understand we all came in this thing together, mm -hmm. but this is an opportunity I can't, you know, just let pass. Opportunity lifetime, yeah. I said, yo, I'm going to go do what I do, and I'm going to bring it back home. Y'all got my word on that. Mm. So that's how that happened. Then I went, got Banks, and see, yo, Banks, you with me. Mm. So that's how Banks came into the picture. Wow. So that's um, L. Salute to you on that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, so um so now mm -hmm. um It's you and Banks. Yes, yeah, me and Banks. Mm -hmm. So now uh Chip Banks at Chip that. Banks, yeah. Yeah. So now um Ray is working on his sophomore album. So the way that mm -hmm. they do things that I've learned mm -hmm. is they will go to a certain state, a designated state, wherever Ray wanna do his album mm -hmm. at. Like, for instance, and this is, Ray wanted to do his album in Atlanta, mm -hmm. at least the first half of it in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They will go down there, they will rent a bunch of villas, and you know what, at, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not, this is I'm Ill. bugging, at this time, Harlem Hoods was still with us. I'm, oh, I, I wow. think I went, I, I went a little further. Okay. Because I remember Say Cool and it, cause they, they, they rented villas, mm -hmm. and they put the team there, mm -hmm. And then they rented a condo on Peachtree Street, and they had me and Banks stay at the condo, wow. and they had the rest of the home, home hood stay over there at the, at the thing. And uh, the regiment, so you still took the whole hood with you that was with you at the time. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, ill. Yeah, so I gotta yeah. salute you for that. Thank you. Yeah, Thank salute. You. That's that's real. Yeah, and I think the tension boiled to the point where we had that meeting. So I was mm. I got a little ahead of myself. So uh, so. Mm -hmm. You talking about this, the, villa, the schedule? The schedule in, in was the rigorous, okay. um, and and I learned just how hard it is uh, because it's the entertainment business, mm. and it's a business side of it also entertainment, which is create the product. Got you. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you good. So, the schedule was rigorous. You would get up about one o'clock. You go to the studio, mm. 
stay there till about four, five o'clock, six mm. o'clock. So you be go there home, like 13, sleep. 14 hours. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go home, sleep, get up at one o'clock and do mm. it again. That's how Ray does mm. it. So um, that's what we were like doing. Like the military then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's, it, it was a schedule. Well, um, you mm -hmm. know, we, we, um, we went to parties and we went mm -hmm. to promotions. I remember we had a big melee to, at, at Club 112. Ray get busy, fam. Mm. Like, when it come to fight, Ray get busy. <laughs> How busy? Because, I mean, people... Now, I never Ray get busy because, yeah. you know, I, 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 even before we locked everything in, we kind of almost went gun to gun with Ray and Power, and they didn't back down mm. over, over some checks. You understand? This This was before. We, we went to Atlanta. We almost went, and they didn't back down. Mm. They they bought they bought Daba Chief from Brooklyn. Shout out to my man Daba Chief. I love you to death. Mm. Um, Big Duke, and um, you know that's how I met Duke. But move, moving mm. back to so when we was in Atlanta, I remember. Uh, so you had Mel. Yeah, mm. I remember Mel coming to us. I remember Mel coming to us and said that um. Ray wants y'all to fly with him, you and Banks to fly with him to New York. Mm. Um, he's doing something for Funk Flex album. Mm. So, uh, you know, um, we were excited. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Funk Flex album. Funk so Flex at that time? Yeah. So we're down there working on Ray's Major. album. And um, Mel told us that we're going to New York to mm. uh, do the song with Funk Flex. Mm. So uh, I remember on the plane, and this is a funny story on the plane mm -hmm. so uh chip and i are on the plane so for some reason and i know ray and power will remember this mm -hmm. uh, if they ever hear it when mm -hmm. or when they hear it gotcha so we were on the plane um they were in first class uh, and we were in coach right gotcha so the plane encountered some really heavy turbulence mm -hmm. turbulence mm -hmm. i've never felt on a plane before literally right mm. like let's say the plane flying you can feel it you feel it drop damn yeah it did that about twice oh no and i remember the second time mm. it dropped because i because mm. we was writing our rhymes on the plane for the for the flex song oh wow yeah mm. so dope though i remember when the plane dropped i looked at chip and he looked back at me, and it, it was a silence. It, it was no words needed being said. The body language spoke. Yeah, yeah. From both but, of but the look we yeah. gave each other was like, "Damn, fam, this is how we gonna go out." <laughs> <laughs> like, like I can't believe this is how we gonna go out. La la that's, la bumba. Yeah, that's <laughs> how I felt, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so we got to New York. I don't remember what studio we went to. I don't even remember if Flex was there. I don't think he was. But mm -hmm. that was the first time I met Inspector Deck. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time I met Method Man was at the studio for that song. What studio was that? Yeah, I don't remember the mm -hmm. studio. Was it Chung Kane? Because I know... Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I know it wasn't a hit factory mm -hmm. or anything wasn't like D &D, that. Wasn't D&D, of course not. No, nah, it wasn't D&D. I know Flex liked D&D, too. Oh, I'm trying to think. Okay. You know, we move past that. Yeah. So now, when y'all do the song for Flex, where's Flex? Was he there at the studio? Nah, Flex mm. wasn't there. Mm. Flex wasn't there. Mm. And I remember writing the verse. Mm. And um, because I was supposed to come on twice. Oh, see, okay. if, if you look at the song... You see Banky come on twice. Mm. But I was stuck. I, I caught a writer's block. Mm. You understand? Mm. So I kind of missed the boat. So um, So now know. when you say you were supposed to be on there twice, twice on the album or twice on the song? On the song. Okay, gotcha. Two short verses. Mm -hmm. But for some reason I caught a block. And I think it was the nerves. I think I, think I was still high off of... Uh, I still was high off of what was happening. Gosh. Mm -hmm. So uh so we did that song. So then we, we went back to Atlanta. Hold on. What what was the name of that song? Because that's on Flex album. Yeah, yeah, so it's on Funk Master Flex Volume 3, the final chapter. Mm. Uh the name of the song is called Wu Tang Cream Team Lineup. Wow. And uh, uh That's history. Yeah. So at that point we were still Harlem Hoods. Cause if mm -hmm. you hear Flex on the song, you like Harlem Hoods, Wu Tang, you see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was later when we went to Cali that we that Power changed the name to uh, American Cream Team mm. of the group because, like I said, it was a thinning out of the herd. Gotcha. See, so when we went back to uh, 
to Atlanta, I would get phone calls. And like, yo, Flex going crazy on the radio with your song and all that. Mm -hmm. And it, it was a good feeling. So bro. you was getting calls from NY? Yeah, New yeah, York. NY. Because we mm -hmm. went and did the song and flew back and got mm -hmm. back to work down there. And, and the was, streets was just saying, yeah, yo. Yeah, the streets is calling us. Yo, you like, all over the radio, buzzing, Flex going yeah, crazy. Throwing bombs and all that got stuff. Shout salute, out to Flex. Salute. Shout out to Flex. Yeah. Dad got some new music too. I need you to go crazy yo, on that Flex. too. And me and Dad got the joint, Flex. so go crazy on it. The I new need joint. you, Flex. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Salute, enough, Flex. Homie. Stop playing. Let's get it. I, 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 I believe I got what you want, Flex. I believe so. And last Definitely. time I saw Flex, mm -hmm. I'm just uh, just to speak on Flex. Mm -hmm. I, it felt good to see that he remembered me. I remember mm -hmm. uh, um, last time I saw Flex, uh, I saw him on 145th on Broadway between 145th and 144th, they had a club right there mm -hmm. that he was DJing at, and, and it felt good to see that he still remembered me. Was, so, that, a, was that a while ago? Or that was yeah, like, it was a while ago. Okay. That was in my mind, probably 2013, Okay, 2014. that wasn't too bad, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, 2013, 2014, what was his vibe? It was good. It was, okay, uh, energy you know, was good? He still remembered me. You Bracement? Know? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He so still remember me. That meant, that meant something to me. Keep Shout out up. to Master yeah. Killer too. Oh, that's my brother. Shout out yeah. to Master Killer. That's my I'm brother. Killer, Yo, fish yeah, yeah, yeah. Killer, what's he up? Me too, because mm. uh, recently I went to a Ghostface show. He had a show at Sony Hall. Yeah, you did a show with Ghost like two months ago, or so right? Well, I didn't do. I mm. did a show with Ray. Okay, well, right. Before okay. that, shout out to Ray. We did a show at uh, Red Roosters in mm. Harlem. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. In Ray your backyard? Up. In my backyard. Wow, that's crazy. Smooth. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I was supposed to go to that joint. He was? I, I should have thought to Yo, call, yo I swear I was supposed to go. Bro. I forgot. Yeah, next I, time I won't leave nah, you out. It, I should have thought to call. Yo, I, I swear I was going to pull up, but I, it was something else going on in Brooklyn, so now I'm going to keep it in Brooklyn. Right. I should have. Ah, oh, man, but God. Yeah, it's all the Red good. Rooster. How was it, though? It was good, bro. You know, when I haven't seen Ray in a while, mm -hmm. and, and, and. The embracement and and, and, and and the respect and, and, and the love that uh, he showed me every time I see him, even for not seeing him mm. in a while, I love mm. that about him, bro. So you know, it was and, like y'all saw each other yesterday. It's like we saw each mm. other yesterday. Got you. And so I now, did you about. know about this show, or you just got the call? Well, my man Pop shit from Eighth Ave, mm. um, that uh, produced some songs. He produced. Uh, on the Mobilarity album, he produced Yes, 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 it is Raw. Yeah, mm -hmm. he produced Raw on the Mobilarity mm -hmm. album. So he told us that he was uh, throwing a tribute for Raekwon at oh, wow. Red Roosters, and he wanted me to come and rock with him. Wow. Understand? Salute to him. Yeah, salute. salute That's Pop. being G'd up. Salute mm -hmm. to Pop. So, uh, yeah, so I, 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 I saw. How many joints you, you wound up on um, rocking out that night? Just one. Oh, one? Okay. That's yeah, good. Ray, Ray did his lineup, mm -hmm. and then he brought me on, and we did uh, uh, It's Not a Game, the, the song to the black and white movie soundtrack. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, so, so hold cool. on. Where is this footage at? Nobody got this footage? If you go on my Instagram, okay. uh, which is at B-Twiz, uh -huh. that's B-T-W-I-Z, mm -hmm. uh, you will get basically everything you need to know about okay. me. No, I'm so, talking so, about so, come footage on of this performance. Yeah, I got some. Oh, you got on, some. On, on, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I know you got. Yeah, yeah. Your, your history. Then my boy there. Gans got got a lot of the footage. Okay, from salute, that show. salute. Shout out to PL Gans. Salute, salute. Um, so, uh, so now we're back mm -hmm. in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and and uh, they're playing our song on the mm -hmm. radio, and uh, I believe Power and Raekwon, they 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 like the feedback that mm. he was getting. So now the second phase of working on this album, we went to California, and what they did was they rented a mansion mm -hmm. out in uh, the Hollywood Hills for some old astronomical number, like fifteen, twenty thousand, thousand a month or some Damn. crazy stuff like that. But they was getting it though. Yeah, and 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 they gave, and each of us had rooms, and we we completed the album out in California. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. What was that process like? What's the same process? What, was the um studio in the house or y'all went to nah, another location? Nah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We went we went to the studio every night. It was the same way how it was in Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, it was the same way how it uh was in California. Now who was here? Is this the time Perb Lord Superb That's was here? I, well, okay. I met Perb in Atlanta actually. Okay, you met yeah. him in Atlanta. Yeah, okay. but uh, so 
to be clear, mm -hmm. once uh, the Harlem Hoods, um, for lack of a better mm -hmm. word, disbanded, mm -hmm. uh, it became the American Cream scene, which consisted of uh, Rom Wrecker. Shout out to Rom Wrecker. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Polite. Mm. Uh, Lord Superb, who recently uh, died. Uh, yeah, that was my homie. Lord Superb. R.P. Lord Superb. Um, she, uh, consisted of Chip Banks. Um, I believe that's it. Mm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. um, that's what it consisted of. So mm -hmm. while Ray was doing his album, we was doing the Cream Team album, and we completed mm -hmm. the album, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So... We flew back to New York, right? Um, temporarily, you know, everybody was missing their family and this and that. Mm -hmm. So we flew back to New York. We About how break. long y'all was out in LA doing these albums? Two months, four months, six months? Well, as far as for the recording of the album, yeah. because we frequented LA, mm -hmm. but as far as for the recording of the album, uh, it took about a month. Oh, yeah. So, so Ooh, while, while, that was fast. yeah, yeah, we did a month in Atlanta, a month in Cali. Mm, okay. So, uh, two months. While we were doing that, mm. we were recording the Cream Team album, which we completed. Mm. And uh, so, we came back to New York to uh, to visit our family mm -hmm. and everybody get a fresh breath of fresh air and mm -hmm. everything. And the funny part about it is when I, when when I was on the road frequently, mm. I used to be homesick. And then when I get home, I got sick of being home. Because dudes is out there doing nothing, bro. It's the same thing going on. Yeah, man. so Trust then when me. I get back out the road, like, I'm homesick again. It's weird. Yeah. No, so. Sure. I know. We came back. So one time, I believe we was in the head factory. We was in one of those big, mm. famous studios. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Reg and I was working on a song that I got called Patriot Games. Mm. Uh, and this song is... Like I said, vividly, mm -hmm. I learned how to tell vivid stories from Cool G Rap. Um, so I was writing the song. Mm -hmm. So I had the radio right there. And uh, I was listening to a beat that the Infinite, Infinite Architects, which produced our songs on Ray album to. It was some old military. Well, the beat made me want to write some old military black ops kind of stuff. Gotcha. So... Let's say if it was a table, like this is a table. Mm -hmm. Like Reg and I were sitting at the table where you were sitting and we had a little yellow radio there while Ray was in the booth recording. Mm -hmm. So while Reg and I are at the table, Power and another Caucasian gentleman were sitting over there on a the couch over there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm writing the song, I'm writing in. And, and the way I write, uh, I, I never use pen and paper but what I do is it, I, I write my rhymes through repetition. Mm. Like I, mm -hmm. I would get the first lines and say it over and mm -hmm. over and over. And it's, it's weird. Lines Kinda just what Jay -Z start does to slip in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. lines just start to slip in and mm -hmm. stuff. Cause start I felt, coming to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I felt the pen and the paper mm -hmm. kind of slowed me down. Yeah, so I does. never wrote like mm -hmm. that. So um, I was writing a rhyme. So Power and the other gentleman was over there sitting down. So... Later on, Mel told us that uh, uh, that that gentleman, which was James Toback, mm. the director James Toback, um, he was shooting a movie, mm -hmm. and um, he wanted Ray and Power to star in it. Mm. And, and Ray and Power, uh, promoting their their artists, brought us into the movie too. Wow. That's how we wound up in, in the movie Black and White. Salute, salute. Yeah, that's 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 how that came salute. about. Salute. Now, um, we wound up doing the s soundtrack for the song of Black and White. I believe wow. we recorded that in Cali. Mm. Okay, so now we're in the process of shooting the movie. Mm. That's where I met Mike Tyson. I, I got I got a funny story about Mike Tyson too. <laughs> Shout out Mike. Yo, I, when I was younger, I literally used to yeah. think I was Mike Tyson. Wow. You know, I patented his whole style and stuff like that because I used to box. Oh but, wow. Yeah, but mm. I, I knew that I was smart enough to know that you can only concentrate on one thing at a time. Yeah. And mm. also, if I'm not gonna give it all my all, I'm not gonna do it because mm. I don't want to go in the ring and get embarrassed. Yeah. You understand? So it's serious in that ring. Yeah, it's serious. Yeah. So I met Mike, Mike Tyson. Tyson. Now, um 
go into that funny story because Mike Tyson stories is like it's limited. I mean, people, it's stories out there, but it's different kind of stories. I, I need your story. All right, so it's two people on this planet that I said if I ever meet them, I'm gonna mm -hmm. turn into a fan, and I got funny stories about oh. both of them. Okay. All right. Let's One was mic. Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. The other was ODB. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. I loved ODB out of the whole Wu Tang. ODB. I always felt ODB the most. You mm -hmm. understand? Cause he ain't care about nothing. <laughs> so when when uh my trailer. So you know when when you're shooting movies. And when you're not on the set, they, mm. they house you in trailers and, and to, for the set to be prepared and all yes, of that yeah. stuff. So we was in my trailer. So I had a, a shorty of mine, um, and she was thick. Like, she, her body just was off the chain. Mm. She had the tongue ring. Mm. And um, so we on my trailer. So I noticed Mike keep looking at my shorty, mm. right? So I'm like... <laughs> So I'm like, yo, Mike, what's happening, bro? Like, uh, why you keep looking at my shorty? You like that or something? I'm like, yo, show him your tongue ring. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you, now, we got to put this in perspective. Did you press Mike or was more so like? It was joke. Oh, it was joke. all in jest. Oh, okay, it was okay. All in jest. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like I said, I, my Cause that's still my I couldn't Tyson. let them know I was a fan. Like, yeah. let, let me let me make this clear. Yeah, yeah. I didn't let these people know I was huge fans. I was I contained it and just kept it inside. Got you. But Got you. seriously, when I was younger, they used mm. to call me Baby Mike. Mm. So uh mm -hmm. so I'm like, yo, Kim, show me your tongue ring. So mm -hmm. she showed her the tongue ring. He's like, look, man. <laughs> He's like, I, I don't know what she wants from me. Like. <laughs> She like, yo, they already said I raped somebody. What she want? Money? Anything? <laughs> I said, Say nah, word. Mike. Yeah, man. Shout out Mike. I love Shout out Mike Tyson. Last man. time I saw oh. Mike Tyson was uh on 146 by my mother building. Mm. By my mother building, 146. Um, between Convent and Amsterdam, man. Uh, he was with Von Zip when Von yeah, Zip was yeah. dying. RP Von yeah, Zip. Yeah, yeah. And and they pulled I shot up. his um doc too. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For um, General and yeah, um, yeah. Lise. Yeah. And, and Zip sister. Yeah. Me and Von Zip is my yeah. son, grandfather. Oh wow. That's my relationship with Von Zip. Wow. Yeah. So um. Mm -hmm. Now I you so, said you told the shorty to show show Mike Tyson the uh, tongue ring, mm -hmm. and he was saying, "I don't know what she want from me." Yeah, like, yeah. It just was funny <laughs> because you know Mike. He got a distinctive way of talking, <laughs> so it just made everybody in the trailer laugh. That's bro. crazy. Yeah. Now, was you kind of like throwing the alley oop the mic, like, "Yo, look, Mike, I'm gonna yeah, let you I live." Yeah, I basically was. Oh, were? Yeah, yeah, I was. So he didn't know how he to didn't take bite it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, you know, I, I understood mm -hmm. where he was coming from. Yeah, because he came yeah. off that little yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. Had to do that bit, all kinds. Yeah, he, of stuff. I understood he, he, where he was he coming was from. He was skeptical, like a. But I, I did it all in joke, though. It, yeah, yeah. It was just jokes. And but things. would you let him slide if he was like, "Yo, Dad, you know, I'm, I, I'm a, um, she I'm a beat the pussy up." She wasn't my wifey. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, homie. Live. Cause you know Mike is a wild boy, you know. What yeah, I'm saying? yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and she was going through it. I couldn't stop her. That's Mike Tyson. Yeah, man. straight <laughs> up. Saying? Would she go around my back and bless him? Mm. So you know. So what was Mike' reaction when you when you when you um I guess was telling him like yo look. He was just more so like I'm yeah a yeah. It's just his reservation that made me laugh, got you, bro. It's just got the way you. that he That's did it. That's a dope story, though. That That's made Ill. me laugh. Made everybody laugh. That's ill. That's ill. So uh, mm. the last time I saw Mike, he was uh, with Von Zip, mm. and, uh, and 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 they pulled up in a, in a SUV, mm. and I spoke to Mike, and I spoke to Zip before he died. Wow. RP. Yeah. Von RP. Zip. So um. So um. You mentioned also meeting ODB. Yeah, uh, ODB, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, the way that they do it also mm -hmm. is after the album is completed, um, they will have a listening party. Okay. So, for this particular listening party, um, Raekwon and Power, they rented out the Hit Factory. Mm -hmm. uh, they got a bunch of food. Like, 
like picture in the hit factor you know when you're in the studios you're in the couch mm -hmm. and all that stuff and the control room is over there and that, we weren't in the control room all the food and, uh, and everybody and the executives from mm -hmm. the labels and all that gotcha. everybody was basically in the in the area you know socializing mm -hmm. so when i came i saw my boy odb over there so i'm saying to myself like oh shit, that's odb <laughs> like you see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, I know this ain't ODB, man. Mm -hmm. So, they had the food. Mm -hmm. So, I went to the table. I made myself a plate. Uh -huh. So, I made the plate. I sat down. I ate. So, I'm still excited because, like I said, you can't show people like you want. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, I'm still excited. So, um, so I finished my plate. Uh -huh. So after I finish my plate, I go to the garbage. Mm -hmm. So I go to the garbage and just put my plate in the garbage. Mm -hmm. So at this time, ODB walks up to the table mm -hmm. where the food is. Mm -hmm. It was like, yo, ain't no more plates over there. I'm like, nah, ain't no mm -hmm. more plates, family. I could, I could go find you one if you want me to. Mm -hmm. He's like, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> yo, Rick. My, oh, Lord. my G. Dude took my plate out the garbage. Stop playing. Scraped the bones off of it. <laughs> And made a plate B. I said I love this dude. Yo, shout out to old He's man. ODB for real. Yeah, <laughs> it's not an act. Oh, He's man. really old dirty bastard. Salute. So you know that that was yeah. a story I will always remember about me and old dirty. Wow. Yeah, so that's official, man. So uh so now we at the movie mm. black and white, right? So uh we're shooting the scene for the movie. Uh we shot it somewhere down at the West Side House. Rack. Yeah. Y'all wanna stunt and floss on Front Street? The Hulk will tear through your gut, spill out your lunch meat. Yeah. You the main vic, they booking for drugs. Niggas starving out here, and you looking like grub. That new M Rack, catch a lick single, aka Money Dance, that's killing the airwaves on Shade 4 or 5 and many different other stations in Connecticut, Boston, so forth and so on. You can get it now, the links is in the video description. It's available on Google Play, Deezer, uh, YouTube Music, Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, etc., etc. Go get that. One. Slug you, the streets don't love you. Not at all. By now, homie, you should've knew that. Word. Ain't no need no Browns in this town. You a new Jack. Peace world to promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV. Contact MREC TV promo M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah, subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. Wreck TV. It's got a music.